Outdoors Delmarva covers everything outdoors, including real hunting and fishing situations involving wildlife. We do our best each week to bring you tasteful content, but viewer discretion is advised. Now enjoy the show. We begin this week with a day trip to Camp Barnes in Frankfurt. We meet the June recipient of the WBOC Mount Air Farm to Table Scholarship Award in Easton. Scorchy Tallis shows us why fishing on the 4th is the perfect way to celebrate the holiday. And we'll head to Gumboro to introduce you to the latest sponsor of Outdoors Delmarva, Range Time. Outdoors Delmarva starts right now. Welcome to Outdoors Delmarva, the show that celebrates our communities, our cultures and traditions, and the places we call home. My name is Jason Lee. And I'm Lauren Hitch. Happy Independence Day weekend to you, Lauren. And a happy Independence Day week to you. Wait, I thought you were supposed to be on vacation. Oh, I am. I'm not actually here. I'm just a figment of your imagination. Actually, I am sipping on a tasty beverage underneath of a palm tree right now. Ow! I don't have to take this. You know what? I'm going back to Fiji. Yes! This is Outdoors Delmarva, presented by Gateway Subaru. Higher standards. And now, here are Jason Lee and Lauren Hitch. If you grew up anywhere close to Sussex County, you either went to Camp Barnes, knew someone who went to Camp Barnes, or at least heard of Camp Barnes. But for those of you who didn't, let us take you there now. Tell us a little bit about the history of Camp Barnes. So, I think it was uh, June of... Uh, 1948 is when the camp started. My father uh, got the idea of Camp Barnes when he went to FBI school from a detective from Newark, New Jersey. They had a day camp for kids up there, so that's where dad got the idea. And he uh, brought the idea to the um, Chiefs of Police Association. So the Chiefs of Police appointed my father to be in charge of starting Camp Barnes and raising the funds for it. How did you find out about this camp? Well, I have cousins and kind of like a stepsister that got, went and they said it was very fun. So, and also since my mom's a cop, she found out about it, so. Cool, so now you get to spend a week here in your summer, was that exciting? Yep. And when you got here for the first time, what did you think about it? I really thought it was gonna be very fun and it's a lot funner than I really would have thought. Oh, that's awesome. What's your favorite activity so far? Probably my favorite activity is kayaking and probably sleeping also. Sleeping? It's really tiring. <laughs> Jeff, it's 2024, the sun is shining and you've got a camp full of kids. We do, it's been a great week so far. It's opened up our 75th year. Uh, this year, um, 80 to 85 kids this week, and we've had beautiful weather so far. Not too hot, but uh, good, and the kids are just having a great time. Tell us a little bit about what Camp Barnes means to the community as a whole. It, it tells a tale when you walk into a store and you talk to someone or you're wearing a Camp Barnes t-shirt and they say, I went to Camp Barnes back in the 60s and 70s and it just meant so much, meant, meant so much to us. And then you make a Facebook post and they say, I went there 50 years ago or 40 years ago. It's kind of a staple in the community. And what we try to hang our hat on is we're still free to kids. So it's no charge to kids or parents and they just have a great time while they're down here. So the best way for someone who's like, you know what, um, I, I I went to Camp Barnes or uh, I knew somebody who went to Camp Barnes and I'd really like to see this continue on in the future. What's, what's the best way for them to get involved and find out about that information so they can get to these events? Our website will have most of the information. It has a donation tab on there where they can make a donation online and that's www.campbarns.net or they can call me at Troop 4 and we'd be happy to, to walk them through what we do and, how we, and what we need with the money. It's great to know that Camp Barnes is still around for the next generation, and with your help, it'll be around for many years to come. 
We'll introduce you to the final WBOC Mount Air Farm to Table Scholarship recipient of the year when Outdoors Delmarva presented by Gateway Subaru returns.